Hey there YouTube, it's Kurt here. Today I'm going to show you how to do texture packs for Project 64. Now fortunately this used to be a lot more complicated than it currently is, but there were some nice people, as there always are, who helped develop this program to a more um, compressed and more easy to digest way of getting these HD uh, releases yeah, much more accessible to the average user. So first off, you're going to want to go to this. Why I based it off of this YouTube video. I'm not going to show any content here, but I'm just showing my source of where I got it. Uh, they showed this link here that took us to this launcher that already comes with certain textures in yeah in the installer. So if you already have Project 64 installed, I would recommend uninstalling it first, um, just so you have room for the new one. But if you want to keep a lot of your files saved, I understand. You can basically clear out a folder, um, the right folder, um, and specifically uh, this one, if it's under local, under this file right here, you should be fine. All right, so when you download that and you click the execute, if you execute the program, it'll bring up this right here. And <laughs> it's mine aren't empty because I already did it, but you can click that and click continue. And then we'll, there will be a menu showing different texture packs that you can choose to download with it. And uh, so far, this has been extremely trustworthy. I've had no issues like so m much of the community. The community has made so much of this uh, virus free. And uh, um, that's just how great the gaming community is overall. All right, so once you've installed that, basically, yeah, we'll go ahead. It'll give you a new thumbnail. I have two thumbnails. This is the new and updated one. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and open up Project 64, uh, that one specifically right there. All right, so uh, let me get in here. All right, so to bring up this, and now you want to definitely configure your graphics plugin. Um, and you're going to go to this screen here. And this screen, you're going to want to make sure that these settings are checked. Um, this one can be a little bit different. It depends on your PC specs. Me, I have a really powerful gaming computer. So none of the... Um, I'm not really too worried about uh, the size of my memory cache or anything of that nature. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that you click Texture Pack, and um, all these should be naturally the same for you. Um, and then you can use full transparencies, and you're going to want to use the file storage instead of memory cache. Now, essentially, I'll make this easy. Um, this shouldn't be too difficult for you. I've, I did have some difficulty when I first downloaded it. Um, but I think I figured out all the bugs that could be uh, involved with any trouble here. Um, so you can go ahead with these settings. You can try to start it up and see if the HD textures automatically load. If they don't, you're going to go to um, this file location here. And let's see, we're going to go to plugin. All right, Project 64. And then there's plugin, your local. And then we have the graphics. So that's GFX, the graphics. Um, so if you get any more texture packs, so you can put them under the high-res textures. I just have one, and that's for Banjo-Kazooie. I downloaded that one separate from this. That's one I added myself. And if you download any more, you can put them in here and name them the appropriate file. Um, but that's not important for right now. That's just for any future texture packs that you want to download. For this, the texture packs are actually downloaded into HTC files, and they're just one big singular file that helps you, yeah, that <laughs> gives you uh, all your textures. And this is where the Project 64 is drawing from. So you're going to want to make sure that your ROM is actually named the same as everything before the underscore here. So you want, if you're playing Super Mario 64, which you have to parse out yourself, which I totally did. I got it in the perfectly legal fashion. You're going to want to make sure it's named uh, caps Super Mario 64. And that way uh, it'll help Project 64 recognize that when they're getting into the cache there. So, all right. So me, I have my ROMs actually on my desktop. We can see here that I've named this... Um, and there it is, Super Mario 64. We both have the Z, the zip folder and the Z64 file. Um, I think the zip file might work better, but that's not either here nor there. All right, so now I have all that applied. Close, and 
we're going to try opening up the ROM here. We'll open up Super Mario 64. Sorry, I did a little bit of a cut to the video there, but I just wanted to cut the video because I actually had um I had a little bit of a crash, not my computer crash. It's not because of this app or anything. It's because I just wanted to get a better um Project 64 crash. So, I just wanted to get a better view overall. Uh make sure I have everything right here. Yes, we have everything right. Um and then I'm going to make this uh yeah. We're going to make sure all this is in order. I, I upped my refresh rate a little bit, but your default would be that one. I don't know if it matters all that much. So we'll save and close. So file, open ROM. And we can do... We'll just show that one. It's me, Mario. Go full screen. I'll t I got neighbors, so I got to turn down the volume a little bit. All right, we can already see that it actually looks really good. All right, so here we are, and we can tell that there's actually a lot of more texture on the grass. Um, there are a few texture packs that actually want... Um, there's one in particular that I actually want to really try out um, that I haven't tried out on this, but we can see already there's a difference. And we're going to go ahead. I'll press uh, F to toggle. So that's what it looks like before and after. It, that, that is pretty neat, but I think what the real difference is, we're going to go into... Here, I'll turn off the textures. And that's how it basically looks. You can see there's a little bit of choppiness on the screen, but I think that's because of the full screen uh, converter there. Um, I think that's how Project 64 is just like processing the graphics. And I, I don't think like um, any in the information of, yeah, Project 64 or the game itself was ever made to run on these type of graphics, so I don't know if that's fixable, but I don't know what to call that overall. So we'll turn it on here. Ho <laughs> ho Look, look at that painting. Oh my God, someone did the artwork for this and it looks amazing. And don't worry, we're not gonna throw the penguin over the ledge. But we get in here, the level was exactly the same, but look at that background texture. Oh my god, that looks freaking amazing. <laughs> that really just ties it together, and it, it like it it just gives you a brand new way to experience this. And I cannot complain. It's amazing how much better the player base has done at uh, just updating the game than the developers than Nintendo has themselves. So they should probably I don't know hire these people. That might be a good idea. All right, so I'll, I'll actually end there. And hopefully this was informative to you guys. Um, if you like this video, subscribe. Mainly I do videos on now I'm doing Melee and I'm doing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot. But I do do the occasional instructional video. And I do uh, some oddball games on the side. I appreciate it, guys. Peace.